We're going to be trying to answer some questions that are related to my sum to infinity formula. Okay, or just my limiting sums. So before we do that, let's try and recap what we know about the limiting sum. So this is my limiting sum formula. Okay, so S with the subscript infinity is the sum to infinity. Okay, we should know that A is the first term and R is my common ratio. And of course, because this is a limiting sum, my common ratio should be in between negative 1 and 1. Okay, so let's try and apply this to answer some questions. Now in question 1, it says find the first three terms of the geometric series for which R, my common ratio, is equal to 0 0.6 and my sum to infinity is 25. Okay, so the question is asking for the first three terms. Okay, so if we don't know how to start this question, let's just write everything that we do know. Okay, so let's try and get all the information and translate it into something that's more mathematical. So, this is my sum to infinity formula. Okay, and I know that r equals to 0 0.6 and the sum should equal to 25. So let's just put those values in. Okay, from here we can see, okay, well we have an unknown a. Let's just find it. So simplify down. Multiply 0 0.4 over, okay, calculate 25 multiplied by 0 0.4, and we get a equals to 10. Okay, so my first term is 10. So finding the first three terms, I already found the first term, it's 10. So first term is 10, the next term will be 10 multiplied by my ratio, which is 0 0.6. My next term will be that term multiplied by 0 0.6 again. Okay, so these will be my first three terms. So let's calculate it. Okay, then my answers will be 10, 6, and 3.6. Okay, so that's my first three terms. Now, looking at question two, find the first three terms of the geometric series for which A, which is my first term, is equal to 48, and my sum to infinity is 120. So, in this question, they gave us A and the sum. So, let's just put all those values in, into my limiting sum formula. Okay, so A equals to 48. And the sum is 120. Okay, what I'm going to do here, I can see that I can find r from this equation. Okay, r is the only unknown. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reciprocate both sides. Okay, to find my r. So let's isolate everything away from r. Multiply both sides by 48. Move 1 to the other side. 0 0.4 minus 1, 0 0.6. Sorry, negative 0 0.6. Multiply both sides by negatives. And we found my common ratio. 0.6. Let's go back to the question. It says find the first three terms. Okay, well I know the first term is 48. Okay, the next term is going to be 48 multiplied by my common ratio. Correct? And the term after that will be the second term multiplied by another common ratio which is 0.6 again. So if we calculate this, these will be my answers. Okay, so those are my first three terms for the limiting sum.